Hello, my loves. Welcome to your weekly love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for July 5th through the 11th. So my loves, I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Happy birthday to whoever's celebrating a birthday this week. Um, so guys, in case you didn't know, I did start a channel devoted to my Cancerians only, uh, Cancers and Cross Watchers. It's called Cancer Baby Tarot. Um, the link is in the description box below. So go ahead and subscribe and click that notification bell so you know when those readings post. Um, in the description box below, which is a little off topic, you'll find um, the Kylie show, which is my best friend's daughter. She's like six or seven years old. She's a little boss baby. So if you have any children and you would like to go ahead and check that out, um, the link is below. Okay, so let's go ahead and get shuffled up, my loves. Holy Spirit angel spirits and guides what clarity and guidance what love messages do we have here for my cancers please clarity advice advice <laughs> uh, advice for my cancers please spirit clarity love guidance for my cancers please spirit july 5th through the 11th please holy spirit all right, my loves, so if you are currently subscribed, welcome back. And if you have yet to do so, please go ahead and click that red subscribe button. I do choose multiple winners every week for free readings. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, palo santo, sage, jewelry, crystals. I give away dragon's blood incense. Um, NIV version Bibles. They are the, they are the, I can't speak today. Hello, Mercury retrograde. Um, they are the super large print. So they're really great for Bible study. Okay. So be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell. So you know when my readings post and you know when the winners are announced. Okay. Um, to enter the giveaway, it is super simple. The instructions are below, okay? And if you'd like to request a personal reading, my email is below, all right? Um, what else do I want to tell you guys? I think that's it. All right, Cancer. So let's go ahead and get into your pre-shuffle message, all right? Now, here's the deal. There's a connection here that is very much, very much divinely guided very strong soul connection, very strong. Okay. Now, if you and your person made it through whatever trial you're going through right now, this, you guys would be a power couple. Okay. You guys would be a power couple. Now, the problem is, is that when people see this in a relationship, there tends to be a lot of jealousy, cancer, a lot of jealousy. All right. Um, I feel that the relationship was rocky enough to begin with, okay? Um, but you have someone in the midst here that's trying to cause major blockages, major blockages. Um, this could be a family member. This could be an ex. But this person, I would go as far as saying that for not everybody, but for a few of you, someone here is even practicing black magic. Someone here has so much, and I'm going to say, Hatred towards this connection, jealousy, envy. Someone here is not liking what they're seeing. I mean, someone here is just, oh my gosh, I can't even tell you. And they're trying to stall it. They are. They are trying to stall it. But here's what's funny. Because this is what divinely guided, okay, because this is divinely guided, um, the more they try to block it, the more the universe brings you and this person together tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter. It's almost like a clamp. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like the more this person hates on the connection, the more they're pushing you and this person together. It's interesting. All right. Let's see here. So we have the Empress. Beautiful. Uh, Libra energy, Taurus energy, Aries energy, Cancerian energy for me as a reader. That is divine feminine. That is um, creation starting a life graceful you're very graceful here cancer and you're better than this person and they know it sorry if you're a cross watcher but you're better than this person and they know it some of you may be business owners some of you may be mothers that have the ability to wake up in the morning take care of your children go to work handle your homes do whatever you know what i'm saying like you're better than this person 
and they know it. They cannot compete. No one can compete with an empress. Okay. No one can compete with an empress. And this person knows it. Okay. They know it. So let's see here. Holy Spirit, what messages do we have here? Okay, cancers. Truth and integrity. Truth and integrity. Now, the issue here is, guys, is that maybe there is honesty in your connection. Maybe behind your back, Cancer, your person is actually doing the right thing. And it might be pissing this third party off. Um, so let's just say it's a family member. If this person wants to talk bad behind your back, your person is not feeding into it. If it's a third party, an ex that's trying to come in, your person's not feeding into it, okay? This person is devoted to you, Cancer. This is a true soul contract, a true soul tie. Now, you may be married to this person, could be, okay? Um, but I don't know. I, I feel more along the lines of the soul contract, which the, regardless of in this life, if you're legally married or not, your souls are tied together. We have woman holding a coin that popped out. So that's committed. The garden and the gate. So someone here... Okay. Oh, I'm going to take it. I knew it was going to come out. I knew it was going to come out with financial constraints and actions. So for me, so for me, financial constraints and a love reading is like a five of pentacles energy. This person has been left behind. Okay. They're envious and they want to take action here. You see what I'm saying? They want to take action. I'm sorry, but I'm taking this envy card. The garden in the gate is an indication of Someone here has everything that they need in life, but what they want is past that gate. Okay. What they want is past that gate. So what I'm feeling here is that there's a third party here that has their own life. They're fine. They, they can go do whatever they want to do, but what they want is something that they cannot attain. It's past that gate. They're had, they have to pass a border to get to what they want basically. And they're pissed off that there's that gate there. OK, this person, uh, you know, maybe has it all in life. You know, they're single. They can do whatever they want, but they want specifically your person. Why? Probably because it's not attainable. OK, probably because it's not attainable. And see that envy card? I knew it was going to come out. This person is, oh, what ugly energy. What messages do we have here? traveled okay this connection is moving forward maybe your person has physically moved geographical lo uh, location to be with you okay uh maybe you have moved geographical location to be with your person here what messages do we have here for my cancers what do you need to release so i feel that your person maybe letting people, situations, places go because they have faith in this relationship and it's making somebody here very angry. It's making someone here very angry. So what messages do we have for my cancers, please? Companionship. So this could be a friend, could be an ex. Somebody here is needs to release a friend possibly. This friend may have too much authority over this person's life. Um, I, I, I'm getting a feeling it's a friend. It could possibly be an ex that has remained a friend. Um, it could be a family member that just misses their, their person. But I'm getting a sense that this could be a friend on the outskirts of the relationship that is very jealous. Very jealous. This person, internally, maybe they haven't shown it yet, but they were always kind of expecting to end up with your person, possibly. Okay? Let's see what we have here. Oh, wait. I forgot to whole actually no i think i'm gonna leave it like that all right let's see here so we have the ace of spirals which is the ace of wands so that could be a new beginning that could be a new lover could be a new beginning in communication it could be that somebody traveled here which is interesting with the travel maybe you moved in with this person maybe um you know again you guys moved geographical location Six of Cups. No, this is the ex coming back, guys. This is an ex coming back. There was a reading. I don't know if it was last week or whatever where I felt like it was your ex. I don't feel like it's your ex this time. It could be. It could be. You know, take it as it resonates, but I don't feel like it's your ex this time. The Ten of Cups. And the 
and the Fool, Aries energy. We have an ex coming back here saying, hey, listen, do you want to give this a shot? Do you want to start over? The Ten of Cups here is like somebody's giving all ten of their cups. And I feel like maybe this person is taking a risk by reaching out to you because you're in a committed relationship right now and they know it. Seven of Scrolls, which is the Seven of Swords. This is lying, cheating, deception. Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. This person knows that by coming in to communicate with you, or if it's your person, this ex or this person knows that by coming in to speak to your person, that they are promoting lying, cheating, and they're being sneaky here. Temperance, Sagittarian energy, and the Tower. All of a sudden here, Aries, Scorpionic energy, this person is coming in out of freaking nowhere wanting to heal a situation wanting to heal a situation okay so i feel there is 100 percent an x coming in okay um it could be yours it could be your person's there was one again i'm going to say it again i there was one reading where i felt like strongly it was yours on this particular one i feel like it might be your person's i could be wrong take it as it resonates okay but Understand what I'm saying, that this person knows that when they come in to communicate or to apologize or to repair this connection, they know that they are promoting the other person to cheat. So here we have the Four of Scrolls, the Four of Swords. The Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. There you are, Cancer. I had a feeling that this is your person's side. So here you are with this Four of Swords, and we have uh, the Queen of Cups, the Strength card, Leo Energy. The Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. I feel like you're just chilling here, Cancer. I feel like you feel like the connection is strong. I feel like maybe you feel like it's just moving forward and everything's okay. Here we have the Ten of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. Yeah, you're, you feel like you're in love. You're in love. Everything is going on moving forward. Ten of Pentacles, you're happy. You're satisfied. That Four of Swords up there, I feel like you're resting. You're in peace. Like you're not... Like, you know, when you're just in peace in your relationship, you're just happy, okay, um, for whoever I'm reading for. Here we have the Emperor, Aries, Taurus, Energy. So now we have the Emperor to the Empress. What did I tell you guys? Very strong, divinely guided connection. Powerhouse connection. Could be twin flame, doesn't have to be, but powerhouse connection. Divine feminine, divine masculine, okay? And here we have the four of wands the 11 11 card twin flame stability building a life together possibly even getting married okay so i mean with the 11 11 card here divine feminine divine masculine i mean for some of you definitely soulmate perfect counterpart could be twin flame very strong divinely guided energy here okay so cancer there's one person here in love working towards this ten of pentacles Having this feeling that everything is moving forward quickly, strength card, your person is chasing you, they're always looking for you, making you feel safe, you know what I'm saying? Um, you're just happy here. You have no idea. One person here is just happy, having no idea, having no idea what is happening here. And this X is coming in to screw shit up. Let's see. Spirit, tell me about this ace of wands. So this is someone that your person hasn't been talking to. The Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. Someone here is coming in with love, romance, and apology. Six of Cups and the Nine of Cups. So this, this ex, this family member, or this person from the past is coming in. See, that Nine of Cups could be a very smug energy, a very selfish energy. Um, this person wants something. Tell me about the Ten of Cups here. Mind you guys... The Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles, you are, 
this relationship that's happening is like perfect counterpart. You're very much in love. But with the Ace of Swords and the Ten of Cups, I feel like this ex may have recently found out that you're in this amazing relationship or vice versa. Your person's ex may have found out. And now with the Fool card, they're deciding to come in to cause distance to cause a wall between you and your person they're coming in um, to take that leap of faith hoping that they can block this from coming together tell me about this nine uh, excuse me seven of swords the moon cancer piscean energy so this person knows that if they come in and they communicate and your person answers that is the first step to cheating right tell me about the page of cups the King of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. This person is very strategic. They are very intelligent and they know what they're doing. They know how to get what they want. They know how to win. Tell me about temperance. Five of Swords. And this person, trust me, will win at any cost. They are patient. They are cunning and they will win at any cost. Tell me about this tower. The Six of Wands. The six of wands in this tower, this person wants success in letting this tower and wanting this tower to fall. This person is in, is coming in wanting success to see this relationship fall. Tell me about this four of swords, the eight of wands. Yeah, I feel like cancer, you're just like, everything is moving forward, you know, fine. And you're fine. Queen of cups. Ace of Cups, you're in love. You're seeing the birds and the sky and all the colors are looking vibrant and you have a skip to your step and you're just in love here, Cancer. You have no idea what's happening. Tell me about the Strength card, the Three of Pentacles. You and your person are building a solid and strong foundation. Everything is working fine. Knight of Swords with the Eight of Pentacles. You know, whenever you need this person, they're there. This, this person is very quick. Your person is very quick to work on the connection with you. Like whatever you need, they're there. Tell me about the 10 of pentacles here. Page of wands, Leo Sag, Aries energy. Tell me about the two of cups, the 10 of cups. This is beyond crazy. Yeah, guys, I feel like this is just sheer happiness. You're very happy here, Cancer. Tell me about this emperor, the sun, and he's happy too, or she is happy too. Leo energy. You guys are both very happy here. Tell me about the Four of Wands, the Hierophant, Taurus energy. You guys may be planning a future together, planning on getting married. You may be planning a wedding as we speak. So there's a lot of happiness here, but there's one person here that's up to no good. Make no mistake. This person here is ugly. This is ugly. Okay. <laughs> this is no, this is bad. Yes. He looks seven of swords. There is someone here that's very sneaky, very cunning. Um, this person this person wants you to pay. There you are, Cancerian energy with the Justice card, Libra energy. They want you to pay. I feel like they think that you took their person maybe, but they want you to pay. They want to see you suffer, okay? The challenge here is the Page of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. Someone here is stalking online. Someone here is looking up information. Okay, with the seven of pentacles, this person is investigating. Okay, this person is investigating. They may even be paying someone to investigate. What I'm actually getting here is like somebody is finding someone's Instagram and Facebook and going all the way back to posts from like seven years ago. Like someone here is really taking the time to investigate. So we have the outcome is the King of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Man, uh, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy, and the Ace of Cups. So we have somebody here coming in wanting a new beginning in love. And I don't think that, I don't think this is your person. I think this is the ex. Tell me about this King of Swords. The Fool. Yeah, Aries energy. I remember we had the Fool up here. This is this X coming in, taking a risk. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune. Tell me about this Wheel of Fortune. The Four of Wands. 
So someone here has fallen in love. They are blessed. They're moving forward. This is this energy here. And with the king of scrolls and the fool, the king of swords and the fool, someone here is being very strategic and trying to come in and mess this up. Tell me about this fool. The page of swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. Someone here found out the truth and they're trying to come in six of swords to cause separation. Yeah, someone here. Look, Leo Sagittarius energy and the world. This is the Knight of Wands and the world. Someone here is coming in um, wanting to make maybe somebody appear non-committal, but they're pursuing their lust and their passion. And what this person wants is an ending, okay? We've got the Queen of Wands and the Three of Wands and the Five of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords and the Two of Swords. Oh my gosh. So there was a Queen of Wands here. Okay, that is yearning for for your person or you. This person was left out in the cold. This person was betrayed and they were pushed out for you, Cancer. And this person now has a freaking vendetta against you. And you have no idea. You're sitting here picking out wedding flowers or you're sitting here just do, 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 do. <laughs> like you're so in love and everything's going good and everything's fine, you know, and I don't blame you because your person's happy, you're happy, everything's good, but you have an enemy in your midst and you don't even know it. You do not even know it. Your person said, I am moving on with my life. And I'm asking myself, what do I need to let go of? And it's you, Queen of Wands, a.k.a. the other person, okay? And when, when your person did that, uh, you create, they created an enemy here. They created an enemy. So let's take this into the extended. Let's see what the outcome here is going to be between this emperor and this empress. Let's see what the outcome is going to be about this king of swords. Let's see what's happening with this king of swords. Um, yeah, let's let's see what outcome we have in this because some per one person here is really up to no good. They are really up to no good. And, and when you see a card like this with this type of envy, this level of envy... Someone like this could be dangerous, okay? All right, guys, the link for the extended will be in the description box below and in the comment section below. I love you guys. Bye.